I'm never sure what I should say. This morning in our Saturday session, Craig Finn. He's perhaps best known as the front man for the Hold Steady and for writing rich, evocative songs in which characters emerge and stories unfold. He's also built a solo career, and just last week he released his fourth solo collection. He'll perform here in Studio 57 in just a moment, but first I had a chance to sit down with Craig Finn here in New York. When you panic in the city, it feels like one too many walls. When it thunders in the canyon, you get the feeling you're too small. Craig Finn writes about characters just trying to find their footing in this crazy world. I think of you as a storyteller almost more than a songwriter. Yeah. Do you feel that way? I feel both. I've always thought, oh, I should write a book or I should write a short story or right. something. But every time I get an idea, it turns into a song. I've never been to Chicago. I got nothing going on tomorrow. Maybe we could stay here tonight. Lose ourselves in the glass and light. They feel cinematic. Do you see pictures in your head? I see pictures when I write the stories. You know, I sort of try to follow them into that world. Raised in Minneapolis, Finn started writing songs in junior high. After college, he decided he wanted to be the front man in a band. Was the driving force that you wanted to sing your own songs? Yeah. 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 I mean, I wanted to, and I was starting to write and hear it in a way um, yeah. that, that I knew I could, I could deliver these songs in that right. way. There's a rhythm to them, absolutely, that's, that's it, totally yours. It's a very percussive thing. I, I almost never hold a note. Like, it's, it's all, you know, one syllable to one, one beat. There are nights when I think that South Paradise was right. Boys and girls in America. He was 31 when he formed the Hold Steady. The band broke through with their second album, Separation Sunday. She was a damn good dancer, but she wasn't all that great of a girlfriend. We were on the cover of the Village Voice. Well, that was a big thing back then. You think you're the smartest <laughs> man there is. Another big moment for the band, when their song The Bear and the Maiden Fair was featured on Game of Thrones. They dance how did you get that then? The guys who created it were big fans. I will say it, it um, put me in touch with how big Game of Thrones is. Like, you know, like the second it happened, your phone just sort of levitates off the, off the uh, <laughs> table. But even more important for Finn was when the whole steady played at a Bruce Springsteen tribute at New York's Carnegie Hall. And Bruce asked Finn to take the lead singing Rosalita. I now have a dog named Rosalita uh, because uh, uh, because I got to sing Rosalita with Bruce that night. Finn still fronts the whole steady, but he says his solo work has made him more sympathetic with the struggling characters of his songs. They're doing their best yeah. and they're trying to do the right thing and they're still having difficulty mm -hmm. keeping their head above water. And I think that's, uh, you know, 2019 really interesting to me.